Welcome to Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis. Guys, I don't know if you guys know this, but they brought back Blades V6 versions without the countervail at a great price point. What am I going to do with these? Stay tuned. All right, so everybody, well, not everybody, hated countervail when they added the dampening system in the, the blades. Um, they basically dampened the whole feel of these things. So they brought this back without countervail. So we're all really, really excited about this now. Um, plus, it's cheaper. So you can get the racket you want without the countervail. So I thought, hey, Coach Andrew Gu used to play with the BLX version back in his Santa Clara days. So I thought, let's string one of these up with his string and at his tension, have him resurrect one of his BLXs and see how close they are. All right, so we're gonna go out on the court with Coach Andrew and Coach Chris with his BLX from back in the day and this current resurrection of the blade. See you out there. All right, guys, so we're on the court. I got Coach Goo's original racket from when he went to Santa Clara, the University of Santa Clara, Santa Clara University. All right, one of those places. But anyways, he won a lot of matches with these played number one with these for years, right? He loves these rackets. He actually brought this thing over here and said, hey, get me something like this. And I was like, got something for you, man. Ah, no countervail, brought it back, all right? Now we're gonna test it to see if they play the same. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so we just hit with these. I'm gonna let the man tell you what he thinks first. What'd you think of that new version? So this new version, I actually love. Um, it's not the same as, um, unfortunately not the same as the version five of the Blade, but the countervail version, I wasn't a big fan of it, but I had to play with it in college and I did somewhat well with it. Um, but honestly, this racket without countervail, it feels a lot more stabler. Uh, I definitely feel way more of the ball with this racket, especially with the older version of the of the six countervail. This is actually the better version of it. So I would say if you're looking for that version six without countervail, for sure, you should definitely try this out. It actually reminds me of the old days of playing college. Right. So we're we're almost there. We almost, almost there. there. I mean, it, it wish it wish it was like the BLX. We had a little more flex. This one felt a little more stiffer. Maybe but we got to play with it for a little longer. I think probably play a little longer. But break it in. I bit. actually like it a lot. It reminds me of the old stick without countervail, so it has a lot of feel, wow. which I like. So, Coach, what do you think of that? Um, when I was hitting with this, I just didn't feel like that the racket um was like the blx model that i hit with earlier too as well it's different um uh i felt like um i couldn't quite um get as much pop out of it 
uh, compared to the BLX. I felt like the BLX was a lot more stable when I was um, taking bigger cuts at it. There's a little bit more feedback with, with when I was hitting the ball. With this newer model without the countervail, I think they took something out of it that um, is obviously the BLX. I think that's the big part of it. But um, I actually felt like the BLX frame was a lot stiffer than this one. I thought I thought this frame wasn't as, as stiff enough. Um, that's kind of my honest opinion about it. Basically, you're telling me that you like this one more. Yes. Because it's actually more powerful, stiffer? I feel like that this one is a little bit uh, firmer. I felt like the, the feedback when I was hitting with this BLX model, uh, as I was hitting bigger cuts with it, I felt a lot more stable versus this one. I felt like the, it flexed mm. a bit too much. Interesting. Um, that's what I feel. So. Wow. We strung them both the same. Yeah. And right, one right after the other too. So that couldn't have been it. Because they're both confidential 16L, uh, 57 pounds, which is your tension. Mm -hmm. Interesting. I mean, I, I mean, I hate it both because I'm not a blade guy. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm the wrong person to ask for this one. Um, the only thing that I felt different was this was a little stiffer just because it's a little newer. Mm -hmm. um, but again, I'm not a blade guy. So um, these guys are your uh, gurkhanosaurs of these type of rackets. Um, I felt like these could use a little bit of weight myself. Yeah. Right? I mean, that's what I used the blade for. Um, I wish I waited up in college to actually play with stock. So for me, like the backhand, especially on blades, for a two-hander, you don't get enough plow through. So if you're going to, if you have a two-hander and you want to use the blade, you got to wait it up. That's what my recommended advice to be is just wait up the racket so you get a little more plow through. Um, but overall, I, I personally still like my older racket because it just had more feel. It definitely had the pop. Like if you hit the sweet spot, it definitely felt like the pocket and the whole racket just flex with it and just shoot off. This one is a stiffer, but compared to the countervail version of it, this is almost twice, like probably the best one over the countervail. So if you're really looking for a version six or you don't like the new version, this is not a bad pickup at all. Got it. All right, so I'm gonna take these back um weigh and balance them to see if they're they're actually close and then uh, tell you what what we think at the end all right so i'll see you back at the shop I want to thank my man coach goo for hanging out with me today where can we find you coach you can find me at agu.tennis so i'll also be posting content there as well I want to thank my man coach chris where can we find you chris find me at cb chen tennis okay. i will see you back at the shop all right, so let's balance it out first. They're both four and a quarters um, with an overgrip on there. Three thirty one millimeters on the balance. All right, on the new one. Looks like 333, 333, 333. All right, let's hit the scale and see how they compare over there. At the scale, checking the weight. 18 on that weight let's check the swing weight expect this to be check the new version three thirty three thirty point five actually I 
I want to test that one more time. Three thirty five. Okay, let's go analyze. All right, guys, so let's look at the numbers here. So this is all strong specs. Um, I've seen a lot of them in, you know, with these numbers. These are a little interesting to me because these are a little on the higher side. Um, that's in realm, that's high. So there's a lot of swing weight there. It, overall weight is a little on the high side. So my guess is that isn't to spec. Um, I'm actually, I'm not guessing, I know. Uh, it's definitely on the heavier side. So if you want a heavier blade, this is the one you want, um, as it is on the higher side of spec. Um, well, you know, that's just quality control for you guys. Um, but let's go down to the nitty gritty here. When we all hit with it, uh, we all actually preferred the BLX, the old one. Literally, this racket is about five, six years old uh, with constant use, constant punishment, constant string jobs. So I thought that's kind of weird. We like the old one, right? When we when we tried the new one, we're like, this racket's kind of dead. Um, it's kind of boardy, stiff, strings were kind of dead, racket was kind of dead. Like what happened here? Well, that's a good question. So because it's new, because it's, you know, strung at 57, right? There's no play in this thing. So it's just straight up boardy feel, right? There's no softness. There's no spring. There's no give to the frame at this point. You would think though that you would get power from this because of the stiffness, but you're not because it's not giving and it's supposed to be a flexible frame. So the combination of the two things is kind of making it dead. This, on the other hand, though, is softer. It's been played with like thousands, millions of hits, let's say. And Coach Goo softened this racket up over time. So there was more, you know, flex in it. There's more feel in it. Um, I'll bet, though, that this will get to this, but it just needs more play. Uh, the suggestion I would make to everybody is don't string this racket as tight as this racket, unless you like it that way and you like it dead. Uh, cause if you want to get the feel and you want to get the spin and the power, you're going to have to string this about five pounds or 10% looser, uh, to kind of get the feel of an older racket. Cause you can't, I keep telling you guys, you can't make a new racket feel like an old racket. It just has to kind of get there over time. You can't replicate, um, you know, the thousands or hundreds of thousands of hits on a racket that softens it up over time. It's just gonna be stiff when it's new. So, but as of now, we all like the old one, but that doesn't say that you won't get there with this one. Um, as this is, I mean, for what it is, it ain't bad right? Price point's great, but we just prefer the old BLX, which you can't get. So uh, get the new one, guys. Price is right. Thank you for watching Tennis Spin, where we put our spin on your tennis.